Hi good people, how is the going? This video is for anybody who feels lonely. Like you are maybe single or you are out of a relationship and you're feeling so lonely, you just need someone in your life, yeah? I want to talk about how to deal with that loneliness and in return, how to date yourself, yeah? So thank you so much for joining me. My name is Mudoni Mukirin Roge. I am a mindset coach and a personal development coach. I work with women. I am a practicing coach. I have sessions and I have packages, yeah? I do them on Zoom. Zoom is an online platform. So uh, if you feel lonely, for those ladies who write to me and tell me, uh, you know, I need someone in my life. I've been so lonely. Uh, like I can't take it anymore. I just want someone who I can do life with. I just want some. It's a good thing to want someone. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. And it's okay to want love. It's okay to want companionship. And hey, it's not you who said it. It's in the Bible. That's how we are wired. We are social beings. You know, we want to belong to somewhere we want to belong to someone we want someone just for us it's totally okay however what is not okay is you have thinking you have a gap or you have a space where that someone will come and get in and feel it so you can feel a hundred percent you are already complete the way you are you are a hundred percent like this the way you are there is no gap in you there's no hole that somebody is gonna come to fill. so if you're feeling like you have a gap or you have a vacuum that that person is supposed to come and feel this video is for you and i want to talk about why you feel you have a vacuum so first things first you can feel lonely at different stages in your life but the reason you feel lonely is because you don't have a relationship with yourself you don't have a relationship with yourself where you can be like, hey, Mudoni, so what do we want to do today? Today we want to watch a movie. Uh, afterwards, we want to go for a walk. Then afterwards, you don't have that relationship. You don't have inner dialogue with yourself. Yeah, You don't have uh, this in yourself where you can even uh, call yourself for a meeting, where you can be like, okay, Mudoni, this is the kind of men you've dated before or this is the kind of space you've been before. So what do you want moving forward? What will that require of you? You need to have like a, a relationship within yourself. There's a video I did where I spoke about creating, a, developing and creating a good relationship with yourself. Please watch that video. I think I should put a link somewhere here. So, um, and a lot of times the reason we feel lonely is because we wait for somebody else to come and make our life interesting, to come and make our life uh, better. We think we don't have what it takes. You have everything it takes. And we are usually 100%. You have no gap. You have no space in you. So watch that video about creating a personal relationship with yourself. And another thing. Can you imagine someone, some, someone somewhere is just sitting there? Is just sitting there waiting for you to come and make their life better. They're just there waiting for you. It's such an unrealistic expectation to put on anybody. Like their life is to make, like their work is to make your life better. No, their life is to come and make your life interesting. No, that's your job. It is your job. And so uh, another thing is when you, when you expect someone to make you very happy, you give them the power to also make you very unhappy. When you depend on them, if your happiness and you, if you want, if, you, if, if for your life to be interesting, you really depend on them. It means they can also make your life very miserable. You've given them all the power. It means you've given them the power to make you happy and to make your life better. If they don't do that, what happens? Disappointment, miserable, they make you very unhappy. So that is not a, a role that you should give to someone outside yourself to make you happy, to make your life interesting. So I want to talk about how to date yourself as a single person. And dating yourself means the exact thing, the exact uh, self-explanatory thing, how to date yourself. Date yourself is taking yourself out, is treating yourself like someone you love, like someone you care about. It's literally dating yourself, yeah? A lot of times, we, the reason we are lonely, we sit there, wait for that person, I want them to come and take me for dinner. I want them to buy me a gift on Valentine's. Valentine's, I am so lonely. Why are you lonely? Check yourself on that dinner. Buy yourself a nice present. Tell, write yourself a letter and tell yourself, Mudoni, you're beautiful. Mudoni, I love you. Mudoni, you deserve. As in those things you're expecting that person to come and do to you. 
That happiness, you're waiting for it to happen. You know how I'm waiting to get that man so we can do this together. So on Valentine's, it can be fine. Bring it today. Hmm? Stop postponing your, your happiness to a time that you're not sure about. To a time you don't know if it's, it, it will ever come. Bring it today here. Dating yourself means doing the things you expect that person to come and do for you when they come. You start treating yourself like someone you love, like someone you really care about, like someone you value, like someone who has worth, and like someone who is important. So take yourself on a lunch date. And if you're a single woman, and if I meet with you, you know I meet a lot of people out here and in the shopping mall, and then they're like, oh, we love a YouTube channel, oh, I'm single, I'm like this. If I meet you and then you tell me, I'll ask you if you date yourself. It is so important to get to know yourself. Take yourself on a, in a nice restaurant, um, on a nice lunch date, uh, go for a walk, go to Karura Forest or at the park where you live, go for a walk. Um, on a nice Saturday, take yourself out for a spa, go do your paddy, your manicure, like a date, like a way of, not just because it's grooming, but also as a way of treating yourself and taking care of the most important person in your life, who is yourself. So when you go for that lunch date or for that dinner date alone, this is you treating yourself, you put on your heels, put on, you're not going there looking to do how, you're putting on your nice heels. I said, I said, doll shoes and those plastic doll shoes <laughs> are for running errands. So I have nothing against those shoes. I also wear them sometimes when I'm running my errands. But those are not shoes you wear when you win on a date or on a dinner thing. Even if it's with yourself, respect, you dress up for yourself. You're also very, you're very important. Yeah. So when you go on that date, you take yourself for that dinner at a nice restaurant or a lunch date. Sit there and imagine the conversations you want to have with your significant other. What would you want to talk about? So if he asked, I, I used to imagine this. I remember on my 29th birthday, no, I think my 30th birthday, I was very single. I took myself on a very nice dinner at, at some hotel called Sankara here in Nairobi. And I sat there. Actually, the waiter saw me, and then he was like, "Hey, Mudoni, hey, nice to meet you." All. So, uh, so what do you could, would you have when you're waiting for the other person? I was like, uh, "No, I'm not waiting for anybody." He's like, "Ah, okay. So, would you like to go to the other side?" I'm like, "No, I wanna do fine dining. I'm having dinner by myself. I wanna do the everything, the 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 starter, the main, the dessert." And I bought myself a nice bottle of wine, and I sat there in my makeup, in my nice hair, in my beautiful dress. And uh, imagining the kind of conversations I want to have with my significant other. Yeah, what are some of the things you want to talk about? And how would you even answer some of those questions? From If he asks you, what are your hobbies? You know, sometimes you want to run to say, traveling, doing what? When, when was the last time you traveled? Hobbies, customize your things. As in, let, let, let your hobbies or whatever you like be according to what you like, not what we've seen everybody say they like. Am I making sense? So even ask yourself the kind of conversations you want to have on a date, the kind of things you want to talk about. Uh, date yours, get to know yourself, even asking yourself, okay, so if this guy asks you what you think about marriage, what would you say? Or if this person, point is you're getting to know you, you're asking yourself those questions, you're having a conversation with someone who's not there, but literally with yourself. So treat yourself like someone you care about. Buy yourself nice presents. Buy yourself whatever I'm waiting for him. You know, if I had a guy, if I had an, a man, he would already uh, he would have already bought me another phone. Buy yourself another phone. You're not living half life, waiting for a stranger you don't know when, when they are gonna come to come and, and make your life full. It's not even possible. And some of those people who say, you know, I'm so lonely, I've been so lonely, I'm waiting for someone, you probably will die lonely even in that inside of that relationship. Because it's not their job to make you feel good about yourself. It's not. And for any healthy relationship to exist, there has to be one uh, complete, healthy individual who knows they are 100% without the other person. And then there's another individual who is 100% healthy and who knows they are complete. And then you come together to complement one another. So when you come together, you have your hobbies, you have what you like, you buy yourself nice things. He has also his life like that. You become a powerhouse and and you know when you know how to treat yourself when you know uh, when you take yourself on nice dates when you buy yourself nice things when you tell yourself those things you're waiting for him to come and tell you to come and tell you how much he loves you I will tell yourself 
yeah self love you know we've talked about self love a lot here i sing it like a song so when you start doing those things he comes into your life and finds you like your standards are really here you really raised your standards he will not low, he will not start treating you like someone with low standards and if he cannot match up to your standards you let them go that is also how you raise your standards you treat yourself so well you take yourself to nice places you respect yourself you wear fitting clothes you wear nice things so by the time he's coming you've already upgraded yourself like nobody's business he has to match up those standards yeah but if you're there nothing is going you're so boring do you know nobody likes boring people nobody likes boring people everybody likes interesting people some women we walk around saying you know what uh, yeah, i just i'm not all that and i don't do those grooming things but i have a good character and i have a nice heart mm -hmm. let me tell you your character is not written on your forehead and your 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 wifeness what you mean wife material is not written here you have to look attractive for somebody to talk to you and to get to know you to find out you have a nice heart it's not written here so look good look attractive take care of yourself the way to beat loneliness especially if you're single is to develop a relationship a good relationship with yourself is to take yourself seriously is to do the things you expect him to come and do for you now start doing them and don't don't censor yourself if sometimes you say you know men don't like women who have a lot of you have a lot of shambas men don't like women with big cars who lied to you some of us still got married yeah and we're still making money moves still it's not about what you have it's about who you are even with what you have it's about who you are so if you want to invest in shambas if you want to upgrade your car to the latest car if you want to take yourself to dubai take yourself upgrade yourself give yourself the life you expect him to come and give you when he comes start giving yourself so when he comes he will match up he will compliment you he will not come you're not looking for your father am i you're looking for your daddy no you're not a little girl you're a grown woman isn't you so let him come to compliment you let him come let him come also with his hobbies with his lifestyle with his experiences with this so when you guys hang out uh it's like it becomes fireworks take yourself seriously you have no vacuum inside you for that man to come and feel you are 100% complete it's totally okay to want someone to want to be in a relationship but it, it should not be you want to be because you feel like you cannot live without them or like they are coming to save you no that's not true so so develop that relationship with yourself and date yourself I will give yourself the best life. I sometimes I say I had some of the best times when I was single. I took myself to Dubai alone on holiday. Yeah? It's not that I had a lot of money, but I took my I took myself seriously. So I even saving for that trip. By the time you're saving for that or for the by the time you're saving for that shamba or for, for whatever it is, you have to have first taken yourself seriously and know you deserve it. Yeah? And I also had known when you take yourself seriously when you treat yourself nicely when you treat yourself like someone important when you upgrade yourself he will also have mm -hmm. to match up hmm? i said this there are men you meet with uh, there are women you meet who tell you my ex is very stingy my ex was very stingy he would never buy me anything he would never give me bus fare he would never there are women who tell you that about their ex this am ex has now a woman who he has bought for a car who he has taken all over the world on holiday who he is giving her, uh, her his all who he has even proposed to and even take, gone home to marry her the same guy i would say you know what the difference is the type of woman you lower your standards so much and this other one was here so the guy had to match up yeah so upgrade yourself do better you can do better upgrade and every time you leave a relationship i say Every time you leave, you leave a relationship, don't jump into another one. And for God's sake, please don't date lower than you, than your ex. We always get better. Upgrade, upgrade yourself so much such that your ex is no longer your type. That's how how much better you should be doing, and you need to do. I want to end it here. You don't have to be lonely. Create fun activities in your life. Uh, when you leave work, don't just go stranded by the bus stop. You wonder, you know, everybody is with everybody. What, what am I gonna do? 
ingia kwa cinema go to IMAX and watch the 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 latest movie alone yeah yeah alone you will not look like a psycho you are a, like a psycho you are someone who's prioritizing their, their, themselves and you're someone who's making their life better on a weekend uh, you can plan something with your friend you can even go on a road trip somewhere and then just come back around Kajiado uh, do nyama choma then come back to Nairobi uh, on Saturday you do your, your groom thing you watch your series you take yourself for a movie or you listen to your favorite music please create fun in your life don't have space for a gap for somebody to come and feel they will never be able to they will never be able to feel it like you can do it yourself yeah and some people are in relationships and they're still lonely if you're in a relationship and you still feel like like unajua they're not meeting they never do this start doing those things for yourself start taking yourself seriously and remember it's not as in as in you so you think someone was born to come and make your life interesting that's the goal in life kwa ni wewe kazi yako it's your life that's messy so somebody was just born so they can come and make modoni's life 100% so they can come and bring more happiness to modoni's life when you think about it it's crazy how much crazy expectations we have from strangers and other people that we've not even met uh, can can you can you think about can you understand what i'm saying are you understanding what i'm saying that you expect someone you don't even know to come and make your life kwani they are what anyway i don't want to ask those questions i love you guys you know that's why sometimes i'm a bit tough but i have to i have to tell you some of these things so thank you so much guys for watching i have my self awareness workshop and you guys were said you were waiting for me to have an event so you can come so we can meet in person and laugh and talk and cry and do all those things now book your tickets the poster is out i will put it here book your tickets see you it's a workshop so it's a whole we have team building we have group work we have um uh question and answer section we also have me teaching you about practical ways of dealing with life how to be more self aware how to catch yourself and a lot of those things so book your tickets and i said if you are abroad and you're my client and you are a um a follower of this channel you can sponsor someone you can be a blessing to someone you can help a woman who is not able to pay for the for the um for the workshop to be able to also uh get that even if you you're not able to get it because of the distance so thank you so much guys bye have a wonderful evening